The other major story uh, from over the weekend was uh, Dr. George Tiller was shot in uh, in Kansas, and he was a, a abortion provider, fairly famous, made famous partly by the anti-abortion crowd, who uh, has have always hated him and made him a celebrity in in their hatred of him, and uh, definitely aided and abetted by uh, Bill O'Reilly, uh, among others, who kept calling him, because they thought they were so clever, Tiller the baby killer. And uh, there's a clip of O'Reilly on the web now where he says for about a minute and 40 seconds straight, it's one clip after another where he calls him baby killer, baby killer, says uh, what he did was the equivalent of the Nazis and that he executed and terminated babies. Now, when you use language like executed and terminated, what is the the proper response for that? In a lot of people's minds, they think, well, if he's executing babies, we have to make him stop. In fact, Bill O'Reilly and other conservative hosts would say from time to time, George Tiller must be stopped. And so a crazy guy goes and stops him by killing him. Now, they have arrested a man named Scott Roeder, who has been a longtime anti-abortion activist, who was arrested previously for having bomb-making material and ammunition in his car, who had talked about killing abortion doctors being justifiable homicide. So if, one question I have is, since the conservative hosts are convinced that waterboarding terrorists and torturing terrorists is the right way to go, this guy is clearly a domestic terrorist. And if he's a domestic terrorist, well, I assume that Sean Hannity and Bill O'Reilly are going to step up to the plate and say, let's torture him. You know, one of the reasons, there could be a ticking time bomb. Is there a ticking time? Look, the man made bombs before. If he made bombs before, maybe he already has a ticking time bomb out there. So, and how are we going to find out, according to the right wing, if we don't torture him? Remember what they said about Muslim terrorist detainees. They said, if we don't torture them, American lives will be lost. So I assume they're going to apply that to a white right-winger terrorist as well, because nobody can argue that he's not a terrorist. My guess is, of course, they're not going to do that, and they're not going to say anything of the sort, and they're incredible hypocrites, and when they talk about waterboarding terrorist detainees and waterboarding people and torturing people, they're referring to the Muslims in Guantanamo Bay. They're not talking about people who actually kill Americans here. If, because those are guys who are right wing and they have no interest in doing that. So, now don't get me wrong, because I, I wrote a blog on this and you can find it on theyoungturks.com and half the people for some amazing reason don't get that I'm being sarcastic. Should we actually torture a guy that we think might have done this? Of course not. Of course not. But it, the conservatives are the ones that argue for it. So if they say we shouldn't, they're obviously being hypocrites. And one last thing on that. Well, they would say, oh, well, he's, we don't know that he's a terrorist, but we didn't know the guys in Guantanamo Bay are terrorists necessarily. In fact, George Bush let 500 of them go because I guess he became convinced that they weren't terrorists, unless he let 500 terrorists go. See, those people were never quick convicted in Guantanamo Bay, and they wanted to torture them before we got convictions because they said, oh, they might have information. So theoretically, the same exact thing would apply to Scott Roeder, who we have as a detainee now and who might have information on other attacks. Eric Holder, our attorney general, has o ordered that other abortion clinics be protected, as he should. So, uh, of course, they're not going to be consistent on it, and they're going to cop out, and they're never even going to mention it. Nobody's even going to challenge them on it. And right now, we ha already have people from Operation Rescue saying, I'm not concerned about s what Scott Roeder did as much as I'm concerned about what Obama's going to do in reaction. Well, I'm pretty concerned about a doctor who was mowed down in a church. And these people claim to be Christians, right? And they're concerned more about what Obama's going to do in response. What he should do is do what the Homeland Security Department said, which is investigate groups rightfully, with warrants, probable cause. You do it the right way. You do it the American way. People who might actually kill other Americans who are actual dangers within the United States of America. Now, you're not going to get that from the right wing. Uh, but we've got to act appropriately, and we got to protect these doctors. We do. We do it the right way. We don't do it the wrong way. We do it the American way.